and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147, and it's time to break down Cosmic Trip. It is finished. Um, I know I've probably spoken about the fact that it's finished over the last couple of weeks, um, but yes, it is now time to get it broken down and I will show you the completed image once I've got these diamonds away and some of these boxes cleared out the way. Um, I have brought my spares boxes through with me. Um, so I have a couple of wax pens here. This is the wax pen that we sell. Um, but um, some of the wax tips accidentally didn't fit this pen but it fit this one. Uh, we now have the right ones that fit this pen, um, but I did pop the wax tip on this one to give it a go and actually try and use it. So those pens need to go back into my trolley. They just tend to have sat there for these AB diamonds, but I need to put the diamonds away. I also have some ABs to put away and some rhinestones to put away. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 310, because this is a square painting, and I'm gonna put it in with all my square 310s, which are in an A5 mesh bag, and they just go in like that. ba -boom. there's my 310s. Whenever I need any for my heaven and earth design, I just scoop. Uh, but that is probably my extreme collection uh, as they are being used in my Heaven and Earth design paintings, both of them. Uh, I keep hold of them in there. Okay, so that can go. Now, colours wise, we have numbers everywhere. So, 100s. I think we need to get these into number order because I've put them into an order that suits me. So I'm just trying to see if I've got any. So there's a 300. Have I got any 400s? I'm pulling out 200s and 300s as I go that I might spot just so I can try and get myself a line up of colours. They actually don't matter. I have a 500. I don't think I have any 300s. We've got 700s. Don't, don't know if I've got any 6s. The 3000s I'm just going to put well out the way. We'll divide them up again later. 8, 9, 8. That's a 3000. Let's pull out a few of those. I'll divide them into three sevens, three eights, etc. afterwards. Seven and a nine, a five, an eight, some nines, lots and lots of colours. Uh, three eights, let's pull some more of those out. Basically anything that starts with a 3000 is getting pulled out. 700s, 300, there's quite a few 300s, 7, 8, 8, 9, 7, 9, there's quite a few of those as well, 3000s, deal with them after, any more, three, right, there's all the 3000s gone. So let's have a look at what we have left. 900, 600, so we do have a 600. Sevens, just the one though. An eight, a nine, a seven, an eight. You can tell why this is my box that is the fullest. My 700s, 800s and 900s. Oh, we do have a second 600. And then I have my empty bottle because I didn't end up using that in the case. And then I have my ABs. Okay, so 3000s can go up there. I'm actually wondering whether to do my boxes out of order. No, that will confuse me. 
So 900, let's move those back and pump them up a little bit. 800s, because I will pop them into the right order when I go to de kit, but they're a different box. Oh, what I do have first actually is my Heaven and Earth design box. Uh, so for anybody that doesn't know, I do have uh, two Heaven and Earth design paintings on the go that I am primarily trying to use my spare diamonds. Um, with both of those, um, for my big Heaven and Earth design, I've got all my diamonds, I've stopped collecting extras. For my smaller Heaven and Earth design, I've not actually checked whether I've got enough to finish the painting or not. Uh, it's on pause while I finish my big one. So I'm just, there's only 15 colours in it. So I'm just collecting any that I have that are those 15 colours. Um, and when I get to a suitable point in the painting to check if I have enough to finish it off, then I'll find out whether this box is still needed or not. Um, but that's a future project. But I do just want to run through and see if any of these colours are in it. Now, my other Heaven and Earth design is actually primarily a black, white, uh, a little hint of grey or green in it but basically it's a black and white painting so I don't expect a lot of these numbers to be in here and in fact looking all I have is 3865 um, so we'll bob the 3865 that I have which is of course an off white we'll bob those in there and apart from that all the rest will be going in my normal spares We'll take the label off the tub because taking labels off, as we all know, is boring. And I don't want to do them all at once at the end. I would much rather do them as I go. Um, it's still tedious, but it's a little bit less tedious. Uh, so now we get on to the real de-kitting. So this first box um, houses my 100s to 600s. So I'm going to start with my 100s, put them in an order. Top of this one is 155. I pop my little bookmark in so I don't lose where I'm up to. Tip in my diamonds and close it up. I have um, boxes that hold my square diamonds and boxes that hold my round. You can do them together. I used to do them together, um, but I decided to split them up. Uh, for my rounds, I actually only have two boxes, but for my squares, I have three plus my heaven and earth design. Um, uh, it saves me accidentally tipping rounds into squares or something like that uh, is one useful way. Plus when I de-kit a round painting, it's a whole lot easier because um, I'm only dealing with two boxes of diamonds, which makes things a lot better. I have set myself personally a mini rule, which is I only need one bag, no more than one bag per colour in my spares box. That's what I've chosen to stop my spares boxes, spares boxes getting out of control. This one is actually quite nice. I have space to grow. My next box, not so much. Um, so yeah, I've set myself a limit of only one bag per set of spares. If I come across a bag that is full in here, um, it will go into my to give away to others box. It's one box. It's very quick to go through if somebody needs diamonds. I occasionally go on the Got Diamonds group on Facebook for the UK. Most countries have one. Somebody set one up in most countries. And if somebody's asking for diamonds, I can just sit there with my box. If somebody needs one that I've got, I can then pass them on. 
I have a bag here that is all labelled up but it has nothing in it which means this is the first time unless it's in my heaven and earth design that I've added 311 so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm still taking the label off and ripping it uh, but I'm going to put it up here because I will update my logbook in a minute to say that I now have this colour in my spares as well uh, so if somebody you know was asking for a certain amount of diamonds and you know I wanted to check my spares or if I ran out on a painting and wanted to check if I had it in my spares I can check my logbook rather than getting all my boxes down because these are currently stored on my diamond painting bookcase in my bedroom I actually dragged them into my craft room for de-kittings and then dragged them back <laughs> which isn't the easiest way to do it but it works for me because I'm not de-kitting every day and I want the shelf space for stock because I do pack orders pretty much every day bar some weekends and um, these bookmarks are new uh, we've recently, these were launched in the last launch. Uh, the idea of these is that it helps you to not lose your place. Um, you may not be able to see it on camera, but it does stick up higher than the DMC cards that are in here. Which allows me to freely throw all my diamonds in. Flipping filled that one up a bit more, haven't I? Uh, throw all my diamonds in here. And know that I, I know where to put the bag back without double checking. It goes in there. Then I take it out and put it into my next number, which in this case is straight afterwards. I tend to put the bookmark in between the bag and the card. Because my um, bags go behind my cards. I know some people put them in front. Whichever one makes sense to you, follow that one because that will stop you messing up in the future. If putting the bag in front of the card makes sense, do that. Um, but put this in between the two, and then you either put your bag behind the bookmark or in front of the bookmark, depending on your normal pattern. Um, and you get to pop your diamonds away quicker, because you're not looking for the number for a second time. That's what I find. So, so far, all the diamonds are going away pretty well. Uh, I've got a lot of 823 and a lot of 939. I'm expecting they are ones that are already in my giveaway box, which has actually gone down quite a bit recently. I've sent out quite a few diamonds recently. I don't have many of these, but at least I get to top them up quite a bit more now. Um, Oh, there we go. That's a little bit healthier. A little bit of a healthier amount. Thank you, Cosmic Trip. Um, some of these colours, like that one, I had a really nice chunk of them left. Some of them, not a lot at all. Now, this bag is pretty full. However, I only have that many diamonds left. So I will be popping these in here. What I tend to do is if, if it's a big chunk, then I'll pop it in my second box. But for a few, it's actually easier to just pop them in that bag because they'll fit quite easily. One of these days, I may go through uh, the likes of the 152 bag that's pretty full. I might cream some of them off, you know, and make the bag a bit thinner. So that when I do only have a few when I'm de-kitting, it's dead easy. Uh, but I've not had time for that job yet. Uh, but 666, which actually is another bag that's quite full. Five diamonds left. Uh, there was not a lot of trash in the 666. <coughs> <coughs> So there wasn't a lot that I threw away for any reason. It wasn't like I had a bad bunch. Um, the weight was just very low compared to the amount. Ooh, 
that goes on the painting. But I had enough, so I'm not bothered in that sense. Um, but it's it's quite surprising how some of them I have quite a lot left over and some of them I have hardly anything. So first box is done, 100s to 600s. That was the mild box. Now we go to the mammoth one. So I'm going to pull the 700s over first. Uh, we've got a 7-1, seven 740s. One, seven there's seven nineties, seven seven five, and then we have a lot of seven ninety one two nine six nine seven nine nine. So I've now got those in order, which will make it a little bit quicker. She says, hoping. But my seven hundreds to nine hundreds box is a lot fuller. So we'll start with 718, which is actually a low diamond that I have. Oh, they're pretty colours though. I don't know if you can see them properly and I can't tilt them as easy. But you've sort of got this rainbow start and then you've got a load of blues. That looks a pretty line up. There is some absolutely gorgeous colours in Cosmic Trip and it was an absolute dream to work on. I really enjoyed working on it, um, which is probably why it got finished within a couple of months. But hey ho, I'm not against finishing it that quickly. I have loads to do um, and I do like to go with the enjoyment of one and not think I need to spread this out because I'm enjoying it. No, I'm still going to do it because I now have the enjoyment of kitting up a new project soon. I can't remember if I've got it scheduled for next week or the week after. I'm trying to get dynamic floral finished as well. That was my 30 by 40 uh, that I put, that I had on the go while doing Cosmic Trip. Um, however, Cosmic Trip kind of took over uh, due to the fact I was enjoying it so much. Um, so yeah, I need to sort of catch up and finish that one. Now, the 743 that I've been given from Diamond Art Club is quite a bit lighter to the other ones that I have. I don't mind mixing them. I personally mix them up. Um, the reason for that is when, if I ever do run out of a colour, I never know which shade my next, the kit that I've run out of is going to be, um, which, which dye lot it might be. So by having them both in there, I can tip out the diamonds into a big tray and then pick the closest match. So if I'd have run out on my Diamond Art Club, I could have tipped these out and gone, actually, I want this one, not this one. But obviously I've had this one in another kit, so maybe it would have been the other way around. Um, so yeah, for the sake of saving space, only having one bag per colour, etc. I have decided to just mix them up. When I first started collecting my diamonds, I did have different dye lots separate. I even had separate bags for different manufacturers. So for example, Evermoment on AliExpress has really nice diamonds. I kept those diamonds separate. Um, I know Diamond Art Club have brought out new diamonds. Um, I think they're manufacturing them themselves now. So they have extra facets on the top. Um, some people might want to keep those separate to their regular diamonds. That's fine. Do what works for you. Um, this storage system is so good in the fact that you can make it work for you. So I have a fuller box than another because I've decided to split them up um, in. So this box, my rounds aren't the same, but my squares are split 100s to 600s, 700s to 900s and the 3000s. 
Um, my rounds, because they're only in two boxes, aren't split up the same way. I think they actually split part way through the 800s. It flips from one box to another. And I may have to do this with this soon. I've got lots of space in my first box. So I might have to move some of my 700s over. Um, just to make it stay in three boxes. Uh, if I had more space, um, I might decide to keep some diamonds separate. I might decide to keep all diamonds in my spare box, regardless of how many bags I end up adding to it. Um, I, I, you know, it's it's up to you. But the point is, it doesn't matter whether you have one, two, three, or four of these storage boxes. When you need more space, you don't need to change your cards and stuff. You just make up the dividers for another box and spread them all out. Shuffle them all over. It can be done. Um, and you don't have to redo your whole system. You can just add more to it and shuffle it along. In fact, this one is proper full now. These, are, In fact, let's take out... See, I have these extra dividers in the back. I actually have them in the back and in the front. Um, and they can come out as well to give me a little bit more wiggle room. Uh, this 799 is pretty full, but I only have a few of these for some reason. So I am going to add them. But again, with my 700s, you can probably see just by looking above, there are quite a few spaces where I have some pretty full bags. Uh, so maybe after June Waffle, maybe I need to have like a little mini spares reshuffle and take out, take cream off some of the ones that are pretty full. Maybe split these squares up so they're actually not as evenly divided um, in relation to you know seven eight hundreds and nine hundreds but maybe I do need to sort of put some of these seven hundreds into the other box and give myself that bit of room to grow that's a nine hundred over there right eight hundreds so let's bob these in order that's five eight two seven there we go. Um, so yeah, maybe that will be something that I'll pop down because I do really need to do it. And if I do it on video, it's more likely to happen. So maybe I'll pop that in my schedule for at some point in July. Um, give my spares boxes a tidy up. And we'll do that together. I'll cream some stuff off. I'll move some of my squares over. And I'll just get them a little bit easier to manage going forward uh, because I do de-kit quite a lot of kits um, especially with the likes of the paint gem minis that have a lot left over I, I am often putting in small amounts and when you put in small amounts like I've already done on one of these numbers and gone oh it's only a small amount that's fine they do add up um, so maybe it is time for me to cream off some of these so they sit a little bit nicer. Right, 823 is full. They are my extras. They are not going to fit in. So I'm going to put those aside to put in my giveaway box. And I'll do it at the end because I may end up with some more, depending on how it goes. We've got 939 to go yet. And I know there's a lot of them, so I may well have to put more in the box. Plus, my boxes are currently stacked up next to me. I say they live in my bedroom in a really tall Billy bookcase. It's actually their extra deep one. And it's got a couple of doors on the bottom. I have got a video in my um, sort of craft room playlist you will find a video quite recent one showing um, my new storage my new storage for my diamond painting goodies because they've been kicked out of what I still call the craft room but is actually now the shop uh, which there's also a video of um, and you'll be able to see that I do 
they're stored very nicely in there but I can't do videos in there so I do transfer them into this room to do the video and when I'm not doing a video on this desk I'm packing an order on this desk right 891 why was I going so high up 891 so yeah have a look at those if you want to sort of see where I film where I work um, there's also you can also find most of my key videos on my website admorezest.com there is a video section it's broken up into categories so if it's a specific thing there's tips and tricks there's things on comparisons between canvases there's the key videos on my spare storage and how I set it up they're all in there um, so yeah by all means go and have a browse on there or just pick a playlist and hit play and diamond paint while you're watching uh, 647, 639. It's always harder when there's more of them. My brain to do numbers while also talking. Okay, let's try that. So, grab my bookmark, 905. My 900s are really full as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pop a tidy up of my spare storage maintenance maintenance of my spare storage it's not something that takes forever but it's like with any organized space anywhere that you get organized and you get straightened up it does need a little bit of maintenance nowhere near as long as if it wasn't organized in the first place doesn't take loads of time but every now and then you just need to maintain your space it's a bit like tidying up the kitchen sides of an evening you know just need that little bit of popping things where they should go tidying up the things that are in there um, and straightening it up for it to carry on working again for ages i've been using this spare storage since i came up with it a good few years ago i'm actually not sure how many years ago it's been adopted by many many people Many people have adopted it and don't even know where the storage system came from in the first place. Uh, but yeah, I actually thought of it while I think, I think I, I'm pretty sure I was sat at my mum's in Australia when I was thinking about spare storage. I did initially do the baseball card system, uh, which is where you get a baseball card holders 939 is too full uh, where you basically get baseball card holders um, and pop one bag in each little slot for DMCs drove me up the wall um, because of course I numbered them all ready so that they were in order but then I had some for some of them and I didn't have some for others so the folder wouldn't sit nice because I may find that I had a load in the top right corner and nothing in the bottom left, so it didn't sit flat. Um, there were some that I had, even right when I first started doing it, which was right near the beginning of diamond painting, there was some that I had a few bags of and they wouldn't all fit in the one sleeve. So it's like, well, what do I do? I hadn't yet made you know, a personal decision to only have one bag. At the time, I was quite new to diamond painting. I was saving all my diamonds. Um, and it worked out well because I've done my big heaven and earth design project using some of them. Um, but yeah, I was saving them all. So yeah, I, I ended up trying to think of another way of storing them that could grow with me that could allow me to have more diamonds in some colours and not in others. Uh, and I ended up coming up with this photo box system. Originally, it was very basic labels. Um, the cardstock was all cut myself. Well, in fact, it's the same cardstock, but um, 
yeah, it's the same cardstock that we actually sell. It's the same cardstock that I used. Um, and yeah, it's just now got pretty labels on the bags, pretty labels on the cards. It didn't to start off with. It was very, very basic. Uh, my playlist will show you all of that. It will show you how I used to have multiple bags per bitch. You can watch quite a few videos and see how it's grown and developed and, you know, not really changed, but different options you can do within the same storage system to suit you and how you like to work. And yeah, it's been amazing. It's had a couple of maintenance times. I upgraded the bags that I store my diamonds in to thicker bags because I was gifted some by the lovely Diana. She gifted me some thick bags and oh, they're beautiful. Um, it's had the sticker upgrades over time. So it's had all of those little changes to it, but it is still exactly the same system it was back then. Right, 996, I've also got too many. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pop a maintenance video for my spare storage and see if I can get these boxes a bit more manageable for the second half of 2023. But for now, we're breaking down Cosmic. So I'm gonna pull over my 3000s. So we've got a 38, 37, Three sixes, three eight, three eight, three eight, three eights, three eights. That's another one that I have lots of. Three eights, three sevens. So these are my three thousands box. Oh, I forgot to put my bookmark back. You can tell the bookmarks are fairly new. I keep forgetting that I have one in each box. One in each of my boxes. Um, so, three thousands, I have the three zeros, three threes, and three sixes, all in this row. Fine with room to grow. Three sevens have room to grow. Three eights might need to nudge over a bit soon because they're a bit, a bit full. Uh, so, start with three six oh seven. Got a few of those left. There's not many three six numbers, as you can see. Right, so every single card is in there for each number. I've personally put a bag in for each number. I do have a lot of the numbers, but I didn't want a sheet of stickers floating about. I figured I'd rather just put a sticker on a bag and put it in its place than have to get out my sheet of stickers every time I've got a new number. Um, but I had, when I put these stickers on, I probably had two to three years worth of diamonds. If you are, if you're wanting to do a spares box, but maybe the thought of setting it up is actually quite daunting, you could start building it up slowly, especially if you've just started. You could still do it if you've been doing it for a while, but just set up the cards and the bags for the diamonds that you have. So do it when you de-kit a kit, for example, and then maybe decide the next week, oh, I'm gonna de-kit those, you know, some of those diamonds that I've already got and set up your cards and your bags for the colors you have. And then as you go along, add to it, and then you will just be doing it each time you de-kit. Um, or you can do it as a session, and sit down and get all your cards labelled, all your bags labelled, and then maybe decide to add your diamonds in. Or you can do a mixture. It really depends on your style as to which suits you. Um, I know some people will set up all the DMC divider cards with the numbers, but they will only put the stickers on the bags as they put the bags in. So that's sort of a half and half method. Um, and some people will do all of it. Um, it can take a good few hours. Even if you get the pre-cut DMC card that's already cut to the right size 
and you get the stickers that are already sorry battery change um yeah even if you get the pre-cut cardstock that we sell the pre-cut stickers that we sell it can still take a while but it can be something a bit like diamond painting just repetitive nice pretty stick a youtube video on do it um if you enjoy that kind of thing then it's fun to do it that way if that's not your game um then creating your system as you de-kit a kit can be a lot of an easier way for you um okay i'm just going to try and split these up now i'm just working on the first two numbers so they're 380s 381 383s 384s and 386s let's go for that way it's just too many numbers i much prefer the three digit numbers I don't like the DMC numbers that have four digits and there's so many of them. Anyway, rant over. Um, so yeah, there's many different ways to set up this system. Uh, some people use different size boxes, different shape boxes. I think somebody has a unit with drawers uh, that they've still put them in. We do the DMC, uh, it's called the DMC cardstock. Uh, that is set to fit in a photo box. The sizes are on the website if you want to cut your own. They're also on the website if you want to be able to check if it will fit in your box. Um, you can set that up. This is another new number, by the way, so I'm going to put that there for going in my log book. Um, yeah, or you could, you know, you can cut your own, you can make your own to divide it up into however many you need to, according to the size of your box. Some people have different size bags. Some people have bigger bags. These are two by three inches. I used to have two and a quarter by three inches. So they, the slightly wider ones will fit in as well. But yeah, you set it up in a shoe box to start off with, if you want. Right, three, eight, three, four. But the idea is if you set a system up um, and start using a system, whether you just start from now and then maybe work back if you've kept your diamonds and add them in bit by bit, you can then just build it up and small bit of maintenance every now and then when you find you're filling it up like me, little bit of maintenance to shuffle things over. And other than that, a lot of my changes have been cosmetic. When I decided to change to the thicker bags, um, that was the time I put the new stickers on um, that we also have in our shop to say which DMC ones are in it. That was a process. That did not need doing. That was a want. Ooh, love a new colour. Um, that was purely a want. I wanted it to be pretty. I wanted to use the lovely thicker bags that I was gifted. I chose to tip the diamonds from one in it. That was also the time I took the decision to only have one bag per DMC number. That's when I decided I needed to limit myself um, due to the limited amount of space that I have. But yeah, I think another little mini maintenance on my spares will be a good thing. And it makes kidding down so much more enjoyable to be able to pop them away in pretty bags. Then again, you may be somebody that doesn't keep your spares. And that's fine. If that's not something that you want to do, then you don't have to do it. There are, you know... It's your decision, it's your rules. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in this, I have loads more videos on it. There's even, there's even the playlist on YouTube that will have me changing the bags over into these boxes, etc., and putting the, changing the bags to the thicker ones and putting the labels on. 
all those videos are out there and I just waffle throughout the whole thing. But as for de-kitting, Cosmic was a big kit. We're nearly there with the basic diamonds. I still have the AB diamonds to do. I do have my phone with me for my conversion and I'll show you how I store um, diamonds from Diamond Art Club because they use a different numbering system um, to the DMC numbers, but there is a conversion. But let's get these in. See, that's another bag that I could probably take some out of and bob them in my giveaway box. But we'll save that for the maintenance because that will make it look loads nicer. So three thousands done. And then my last box I have in here, this is my giveaway box. As you can see, it has been wiped out completely over the last couple of months. Um, but we have an 800. I just have tabs for 800s in here. So do I have any 823? I do. See, I already have a couple of bags of 823. So we'll add those to one of them. I'm not as fussed if these are thicker. I will have multiple bags in this one and I just use the blank labels and write the number on. Um, if somebody needs only a couple of hundred, I've also got some, I've actually got some Ever Moment bags with a little writing strip. I will shove some in there, bob them in the post, off they toddle to their new home. Right, 900s, 939, I do have a bag. The rest of them have been passed on, which is why I only have a little bag. Because I, I know I passed on a load of 939s. Um, 996, I don't have a bag for yet. So, again, I'm pretty sure 996 is one that I have also given a load away. But I just have a few blank stickers. I have squares in this row, rounds in this row. Again, this probably needs some of those bottles in it to prop it up, but it's it's quite recent, still probably in the last few months. Um, but it's quite recently that I have completely wiped out this box pretty much within the course of about a week, sending to uh, four to five different people. And yeah, it, it's just, it's a little bit disorganised in there. Same with my heaven and earth design one. So maybe I'll drag them all through and tidy up and straighten up them all so that they just stand a little bit better. Because these diamonds used to go all the way into here. But anyway, they're together. They're in one place. I can find them. So those diamonds are away. I also need to put away the AB diamonds, but this case is done. I'm going to move that case out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my logbook with these, but I'm going to keep it out in case I need to update my logbook with any of the ABs. But I have two logbook pouches. One holds my stash. And this one holds my spares and my completed paintings since about the end of 2021, I think it is. But 311, so 311, if you can see here, it has a little H next to it, which means I do have some of these diamonds in my heaven and earth design. And I put a little H in pencil because if I had a painting that was just missing one or two, I would know to nip to my heaven and earth design box and, and grab some from there. Uh, but now they're in my normal spares, so I can put a tick. And then 3807, 3807. That one is also in my heaven and earth design. So I'll rub out the H. 
and just put that it's in my normal spares now. Most of these heaven and earth design ones will move over to my normal storage soon, hopefully. I'll have finished it soon. <laughs> right, let's get these stickers in the bin. Because I've actually got all my boxes off the bin. And let's do the ABs. So I do have a specials box. This tends to hold um, rhinestones, primarily in round. Um, it also holds, and they're all clumped together, all the different shaped diamonds. And I group those by colour. <coughs> but then I do have ABs. So these are my ABs in square. And I keep these on the bag and book ring set um, that we sell. I keep them on there and I have both the DMC number and the code for Diamond Art Club, if relevant. Um, so this one is 666 in DMC and it's AB107 for Diamond Art Club. So the first thing I want to do with these see if I have any of them. So 120, here we go. AB120 is actually 3846 for Diamond Art Club. I do have the odd one that I don't know the DMC number for due to whatever kit it came from. So they are just in there. These are normally sort of sorted by colour. However, when I de-kitted my Paint Gem Minis Christmas, <coughs> excuse me, I was a little bit lazy. So I just threw them on the ring. So they're greys. <coughs> excuse me again. Black, dark brown. Okay, so we've got a yellow. <coughs> excuse me, we've got two yellows but we don't have that yellow. Uh, orange, purple. <coughs> We've got one that I've obviously used up, but I've kept it there. There we go. AB124 is that pink one. Let's also slip my red back in here. And then I've got my greens. So let's put away the two that we can. And then I will go looking for the DMC numbers for the ones that I can't put away. Come on. So that one is AB. One, two, four for Diamond Art Club. And that matches. It's actually number 3609. Let's pop that back in with the pinks. I tend to sort ABs by colour because I don't have as many. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So let me pull up. So 129 is actually 3078, which isn't one of those colours that I've got. So I do have DMC numbers in blue for my ABs. And then I have the AB sheet for Diamond Art Club on the back. And I didn't want to do this with all my full spares which is why I labelled up all the bags uh, but for AB diamonds it's not worth me labelling up that many holographic bags uh, for the purposes of it so let's get a couple of bags get me numbers out so what number did we say 129 is 3078 so, 30, 
678 is the DMC number. Am I on the front? I am. So I had to double check that I was on the front. And that is actually AB129. I could label these all up ready, um, which would save me checking this sheet. But again, I just don't want to use all the holographic bags if I don't need to. What I do want to do though, is make sure that I am updating my ABs. So I have my spares in square and round, and then I have my spares in AB. So AB3078, 3078 I now have in square. I do actually have it in round already. Um, and it is also AB129. I'm actually gonna tick both because that's obviously where I got my last one from, was also from a Diamond Art Club kit. So let's pop this one away and add another yellow. Right, These pots from Star Raw actually come apart. So I'm gonna make my life easier for myself. And then I've got a corner I can tip them into the bag from. Oh, it wasn't that easier. And then I can slide them back together. Take my label off. Because who wants to do all that together at the end? And let's pop the yellow on. And we can pop the oranges on. And then I've got purples. They're not in any huge particular order, as you can tell. In fact, I've got a purpley pink that then goes into pink. At least they're roughly together. Right, then we've got greens. So the green is number 134, which is actually 906. So I'm just going to check it's not, no, it's not any of the ones that I've already labelled up. In fact, I could have just looked on my sheets, that would have told me. So you do actually, I've cut off the bottom half to use the blank ones, but you do actually get three sheets. So 906 in ABs is 134. So I've got both labels now. So if I'm de-kitting a Diamond Art Club kit, I can tell straight away if it is a um, Diamond Art Club one, a bit like I did with numbers one and two. I was able to de-kit those into it straight away. Let's update my logbook. So one, three, four, I have in squares. Haven't had that one before. And 906 AB. 906 I have in square. So that's my AB diamonds. Then I do also have a spares box for square and round other um, and that can be rhinestones, glow in the dark etc. So while I'm here have I already got, I've already got 5200 marked in both round and square. So I am done with the logbook. Sometimes I get myself all complicated by having too many different things going on at once with the logbook and with the new stickers. Uh, there's a bit of fluff in the bottom of this one. If anybody's watched previous whipping chats, they will know that I managed to knock this whole Star Raw case off the side in my conservatory, hit the wooden floor. Um, these three opened plus these two, but I only lost a few. Um, and I couldn't deal with sorting them all out when they first dropped. So I just put them all into a, tub, a small tub, like a Tupperware tub. And every time I came across green, 
um, the rhinestones all pink. I tipped a few into the tray, picked out the one that I want, sorted out the rest, and then just kept doing that all the way through my painting. I got there in the end. Right, so I'm just having a look at what else I have on my wall here. I do have some crystal diamonds in squares. They're actually from Diamond Art Studio. I'm pretty sure, does it have the plain crystal ones? The 5200? Yes, it does. It does have the 5200 crystals. So I could put these into there and match them up together. I could also pop them in with my spares under silver. Um, have I got I haven't got any in here already I have them in round and I have my multis I don't have any square in there but while they are the same number they do look ever so slightly different i.e they're a different manufacturer so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add these in here let me just find a spare bag because of course they've all moved so I'll pinch one out of the spares box I'll pop those in fact I need to do the same again I need to give myself a corner to be able to tip them in there we go tip them in a little bit of fluffy bits in the bottom of there from the last of the sorting out of the diamonds so let's wipe them out who needs to see that mess not me and i'm going to pinch one of these blank ones and i'm going to put i'm actually going to put l5200 because at the moment, I don't know any other, um, like there are other companies that do rhinestones, but I don't know any that sort of mix them into the paintings the same way that Diamond Art Club have done. Not that I've had yet, um, but I'm going to pop L5200. I will know that they're from my Diamond Art Club one. I'm going to fish out just that little bit of fluff from there because it was staring at me uh, and I'm going to pop those in with my silver rhinestones so now I have rhinestones in two different places which is fine because they both make sense to me to be in each one I've got a collection from diamond art studio and I've got my ones from all my special diamond paintings etc in another one and depending on what I'm doing would depend on where I would look. Uh, so this is actually a photo box still, but it's half the size. It's an A5 one. This was actually purchased from Staples in New York. Yes, I brought it home on the plane, but it was pretty. Um, and this one just holds my special diamonds. Um, you could put these in with your others. You could have them at the beginning or at the end. Say, lots and lots of different options, but I had a cute storage box, so I was gonna use it. And there we go, that is the diamonds away. So I guess now is the good bit. Are you ready to see the finished cosmic trip? Remove all my multiple boxes and bits out the way, get them away in my bedroom. But we pull Cosmic Trip out of the box. Are you ready for this? Look at these colours. It's going to be hard to get it all on, but look at how those colours pop. I still love it. Still absolutely love it. And this has come out so much, like, more than I ever realised um, while doing it. This is still my favourite part. Absolutely love this. And then we have the planet at the other end. 
So we'll do a little scan across the top part and then I'll scoot it up and we can scan across the bottom. Uh, but we have this gorgeous planet with a ring. We've got the ABs and the rhinestones. Uh, we've got lots of ABs in sort of these bright, a bit like lightning bolts or, or aurora, but sort of not. Artics, artists. Um, design. We've got this gorgeous sort of volcano. I think I just like the multiple colours in this one. Um, just make it gorgeous. And then we've got the viaduct with each of its own little scenes within each one, but then also what looks like a bit like a lake um, here. Even just the way, even doing the likes of this rock part here, it was still so much fun. And this one, because you've got sort of these little outlines and there's actually, you know, three or four different colours going in those to build them up. So they were really, really nice to do. I say the diamonds fit beautiful. And then if I take off, I just pop a piece of pipe lagging on to stop it sinking on itself with the weight of the diamonds. But if I scoot it up, because this is a monster, I'm telling you, it's 65 by 98 centimetres. But if I scoop it up, we then have the bottom half, which is still amazing. So we've got a, a bit more of this sort of brightness, but these were so much fun to do as well. The sort of Milky Way sort of swirls, very confetti in places but still gorgeous. And then of course, these rhinestones are just dotted everywhere. They are everywhere, but it's not too much. Even though they're everywhere, it gives it such amazing sparkle. These stones for like this walkway that our Mr. Astronaut Man is off. I'm guessing to see the spaceships because that's where it, it lands. Um, but yeah, just even these pebbles and stuff were amazing. And this little, this had quite a bit of confetti around here. Um, it was actually these bits here. There was loads of different colours, but really, really fun to do. And of course, I remember a lot more of this one because this was a lot more recent. I started on the far left and I worked on my side um, all the way up to the top. I was going to try and save this bit for a whipping chat, but I got a little bit too excited to finish it. So, sorry, but I really, really loved it. <laughs> um, the next painting that I'm planning on doing is going to be a little bit different to this. It's going to be a bit more subdued, but this may be going up in our bedroom. Uh, my husband loves it as much as me. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if we can find a space where it will work because it is very different to our decor. Um, but it makes us both smile. So if we can find somewhere that is maybe not like, you know, right in your face when you walk in, but you can sort of catch it in different places when you're in the room, uh, we might be able to make that work. Plus, I could do with finding a frame. I do feel like this... If this had a nice, um, nice frame on it, it would stand out even more. But isn't it just gorgeous? If you can get your, you know, get your hands on this one, I highly recommend it. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Um, I know it will probably be a while before it is restocked. Um, and I know it will be very popular when it does real restock. I'm ever so grateful that I was a stubborn so-and-so and kept refreshing the page and actually managed to snag one. Um, but yeah, it was well worth it and I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. But yeah, thank you all so much for all of you that joined me through all of the different whip and waffles while I was working on this one. And thank you for joining me while I de-kitted it. Um, but yeah, I'm loving these different style of diamonds with having the rhinestones as well as the ABs. I think they've done it really, really well on this one. 
there was loads of them but there's not too much of them um but yeah and melissa it's your fault i bought this painting um but i thank you so much because i as I say i have really really loved it so stay tuned i'm actually going to be kitting up two large paintings over the next few weeks um, and I'll explain why I'm doing two in those videos. It might become apparent to some of you as soon as I kit up the first one but yeah we'll discuss that in the next video. I think I have chatted too much through this one but thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.